Hello everybody, look who's here to start this video with me. It's another wedding planning vlog. I think this is like number three now and this is probably gonna be the most eventful one because we have a lot to do now. I'm starting this now because we're at our first planning meeting with our venue. So we're at their like design center where we're gonna plan a bunch of the small stuff that we haven't even talked about yet and I'm very excited because it'll be a lot of things checked off that we decide on that then is in their hands to figure out but yeah we get married in three and something months which is crazy I don't know if I'm gonna film in there because I don't know what the heck we're even doing but I will update you after and tell you about what we are doing in there and what we decided on okay it's the next day. I didn't end up updating you after our meeting because there was just so much going on. So I want to sit down now and update you. I feel like there's just so many things that I have to update you with wedding related. So I'm just going to take this time to sit down and talk to you about all the things that I've gotten done recently. My mind right now can't even comprehend like all the things that I did. So I really need to just go through like my emails to refresh my brain on all the things that I have completed in the past few days i also have bought a lot of stuff that i'm gonna show you that i'm really excited to show you because it's all wedding related and that's like my favorite part of watching these wedding planning vlogs is seeing all the stuff that people buy for their weddings so first off i don't remember what exactly i updated you with from my last wedding planning vlog but we have secured all of our vendors so happy to say that it's honestly such a huge weight off my shoulders we did have a photographer and then something ended up coming up that they were not able to do it anymore so we had to find another one very frantically but luckily we did and i'm so excited because she's so amazing and i can't wait to meet her and work with her i'll share like all of the vendors that we used after the wedding i don't want to do it before just for privacy reasons and there's just no reason to tell you now so i will share everything after and like like how I love them and all that so stay tuned for that after the wedding but we have a videographer photographer florist officiant my brother-in-law Kanoa is actually going to be our officiant which I'm very excited for and then DJ and an MC together I don't have makeup or hair artists because I don't think I'm gonna have one I just don't like the fact that they I mean I totally understand why they do it I 100% understand why that you have to book like a certain amount of services in order to book them because my bridal party probably I mean I don't want them to have to pay for their own hair and makeup and they probably wouldn't want to but at the same time it's very expensive if I were to pay for all of them so I don't think any of them would really want to pay for hair and makeup anyways and it would really only just be me most makeup artists and hair stylists don't just do individual brides so that's a little bit of an issue slash i just don't know what i'm gonna do yet so yeah my sister is probably gonna end up doing my hair i think i already talked about this but we're just gonna do a couple trial rounds with both my sisters see which ones like doing it more do better at it and decide from there and then i'll probably end up doing my own makeup or my sisters will help me too because i trust them 100 so that's probably it and i'm sure all of us will kind of help all of the bridal party with doing all this so it'll be a fun little get ready session maybe hectic but should be fun. I still need to do like valet services that they require, but I'm not gonna do that yet. So, Keiko and I had our meeting yesterday, which I talked to you about. I just wanted to share what we did at that meeting. So we first went in there, we talked about all the vendors that I have secured. Oh, I still need to do desserts because I don't know if I shared, but we're not allowed to bring our own desserts for our dessert table. They have to be from an insured baker or something like that, which is kind of weird. I was not expecting it because my family was going to make my desserts and my cake. So that's another expense that we weren't expecting to have to pay, but we are. So we need to find dessert vendors and stuff. We have a few in mind but haven't decided completely on them yet so we did that we did everything from like writing the timeline which we also did which I need to ask them to send me because they forgot to send it to me but we did the timeline everything up until choosing what color cloth table napkins that we're having for our place settings because they provide that so that was a very fun meeting design wise it was like in their design center which was so cool because they had like all the tables they didn't have the tables at my venue which was kind of weird but they had like the tables that they have at most of their venues all the place settings so that you can see exactly what it's gonna look like which was so fun so we did that I looked at the charger plates that they had they're like a dollar each for gold ones so I might end up doing that because 
it really does add a lot to the table floor plan for the tables and all of that I think I could show you because it could be really fun so let me show you what our floor plan looks like not obviously set in stone but it's an idea so we're having around 120 guests so this is basically what it's gonna look like we have these big banquet tables that sit 16 and 18 and then these tables single tables right here of eight so that should be fun and then there's our sweetheart table with our table and the dessert table is gonna be over here on like the little patio area but I think this is really cool because you get to like see it all played out and like see the guest count in tables which is nice and then right here is where we're gonna do our first dance and probably speeches and stuff also outside and this is kind of different but we decided because our venue has like a lot of different event spaces so did I say ceremony I'm at reception for the seating chart we're having our ceremony outside on this beautiful lawn in the trees there's like hanging lights it's, it's so beautiful. They were having our dinner reception in one area, which is on this little terrace. It's like outdoor. And then all the guests are going to move inside the barn for dancing and all that because that's where the dance floor is. That's where the DJ is indoors. And then there's the bar indoors also. So everything will be inside, which is nice. And I asked to like set up tables in there too. Because obviously not every single person is going to want to dance. People are going to want to sit down. People are going to get tired. So we're making sure to put tables in there for the people who don't want to dance the whole time. But at the same time, it is good because it gets people up and on the dance floor even if they don't want to dance so then they'll probably end up dancing so very excited for that I haven't really seen many weddings that are like split up into like three different locations during their wedding so I think that's cool to like split it up you know so we did that also chose our menu we're not actually doing a tasting because we thought it was included but it's not it's totally separate which is fine because we went through the menu it chose like four different appetizers we chose two different sides for the entree and then we chose two different entrees so we did like a chicken piccata and then like a harvest roast with like beef and stuff and then the sides i think we chose like mashed potatoes and roasted vegetables and then all the appetizers sounded so good i'm so excited for that so we did that. We chose our bar package. We are probably gonna do a cash limit. So we're going to dedicate, I don't know the exact amount yet, but let's say like $2,500 to an open bar. And then once that is capped and used all of it, guests will pay for their own drinks because neither of us are huge drinkers. Our families honestly aren't huge drinkers either. We have so many families with kids and like, I don't know. We do have friends obviously that drink and our family does drink too, but it's just not a huge part of our life. So why pay $6,000 on an open bar? It's just not our priority. And if it's your priority, that's completely fine. It's your wedding, but that's just not ours. So now I'm going to show you a bunch of stuff that I've bought recently for the wedding. Okay, so the bag's right in front of me. So I'm just going to dive right in and show you the little things. So my kid has these LED flameless candles. We're allowed to have like five live flames per table because we obviously are in the middle of the forest and like lots of flames not very safe don't want to start a fire in the forest so we're allowed five live flames whether they're tea light candles tapered candles or like pillar candles or whatever and then we're allowed like endless amount of LED candles. So we're obviously gonna use up those five real flames because real candles are obviously really pretty. But I wanted to get some of these to see how they work. So they're just LED candles. And then I also spent money on these candle glass votives. These are like $12 and I kind of regret getting them because I know I can find them cheaper at like Walmart or Dollar Tree or like the thrift store. But my idea is to put like these candles in here, you know, or like taper candles in the really tall skinny one. Obviously I'm gonna need way more of both of these, but this is just a start and like my vision you know I also picked this up I think it's really pretty first it's gonna be a vase in my house because it's really pretty as a vase but then I can also use it as a wedding decoration and put I don't know candles in here flowers something I think it's just a really really pretty glass vase and then what is this oh this is not for the wedding, but I guess I'll show you because it's for my kid. But I got these little oven dishes because I want to make baked oats and I don't have any oven safe dishes like this. So I got these. Enjoy Rocco's presents in this next clip. But I am going on to the Lulu stuff now. I just got a few things. I saw these two pieces of jewelry. This is not sponsored by the way. I picked these up because the Lulu's has so much bridal stuff. So I wanted to try some things. First I have these little hoop earrings. They're gold with little pearls around them. I think they're really pretty. I don't know what what the heck I'm doing with my like wedding jewelry yet but I got some options and then I also picked up these they're like rhinestone earrings I think they are so 
pretty. So I got these, these are definitely an option. I don't know, I haven't decided yet, but. For my flower girls, I saw these super, super cute tulle bows with pearls on them. So I got three of these. And then lastly, I saw these pair of shoes and these are obviously not gonna be my wedding shoes, but I have a lot of bridal things that have like feathers on them. Like I have this white blazer that has feathers around the wrists. And then I think I'm gonna get a bridal robe for like getting ready that has feathers on the wrists also because I think it's I don't know if you could hear that but he just farted when he was stretching his butt in there <sighs> anyways feathers so I picked up these shoes from Lulu's and they are so cute okay they're not usually my usual vibe because I don't usually go for pointed toe I don't usually go for stiletto heel or is this even stiletto I don't know I usually go for like block heels like thick block heels but I think these are really cute mainly because of the feathers and then they have this like clear ball in there I don't know I didn't even see that when I got it but it's pretty so I got those here I wanted to show you the earrings what they look like on they're really pretty in person because they actually like shine they don't really show it on camera but I think they're cute obviously I'd have to put them on with my dress. All right, if we're gonna be honest, all this wedding planning and stress equals a very hungry future bride. So it's time to make some HelloFresh. You guys know that I'm obsessed with HelloFresh. I order it myself with my own money because I love it that much and it's just become like a weekly part of my life. So I want to share them with you and talk about today's video sponsor, which is HelloFresh. So I'm very excited to cook today's meal because I've actually had it one time before. Today we're making these smashed black bean tostadas. I made them and they were so good. So we are going to make these today. I love HelloFresh recipes because they're so easy to make and just so yummy. I've never been disappointed in a HelloFresh meal and I mean that. So we're going to get into some montaging of some cooking and I'll tell you a little bit more about why I love HelloFresh and what's so great about it and also give you my special offer. So let's go. HelloFresh offers so many delicious recipes to choose from every single week to help you break out of your recipe rut. They make eating well easier because of their family friendly, calorie smart, pescatarian, and veggie options every single week. HelloFresh has more five star reviews than any other meal kit so you know you're always getting something super delicious with your box. With HelloFresh, produce gets from the farm to your doorstep in under a week for peak freshness and they also offer a wide variety of quick and easy recipes including 20 minute meals which are so nice because they're so quick, easy cleanup, and low prep options. You can also increase your HelloFresh box servings and have the rest for leftovers the next day, which is something that I'm definitely guilty of doing every single time I cook HelloFresh. And even at full price, its pre-portioned ingredients means that you don't waste extra money on excess food that you're not going to eat. HelloFresh's pre-portioned ingredients means there's less prep for you and also less wasted food, which is awesome. And the packaging that they use to ship your food is already recycled content. They cut down on your food waste by at least 25% compared to grocery shopping normally. So you can go to HelloFresh.com and use code Lauren16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. Once again, go to HelloFresh.com and use code Lauren16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. Okay, I've got the tostadas. I'm gonna eat one at a time because my plate is not big enough to put both on. <laughs> but it was so easy. I already know it's yummy, but let's just try it on camera for you guys. Mm, so good. Thank you HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back into it. Okay, wedding planning vlog. I got a lot of wedding planning ordering and shopping and stuff done. I really need to update you guys because it's been a while and I've gotten a lot of things done. Let me just say that. So I'm gonna show you everything that I ordered online because there are a few things that I've gotten on Amazon, on Etsy. And of course I'll show you once it actually comes in, but I also wanna show you what it looks like before I even get it in. So yesterday I ordered these across acrylic hangers with gold wire for the bridesmaids and I'm gonna cricket them make them all cute but I really like the acrylic look so I got those and then I also got this card box I really wanted a gold rim card box this one's 10.2 inches so it's really good and it has a little gold lock on it which I'll probably take off because I don't really need a lock on it I mean I don't think people are gonna be stealing cards but you never know I also got these fluffy feather slippers because I got a feather robe that I'm gonna show you in a little bit but these are to match it and then I just ordered the these floating frames for like signage and stuff because we're gonna make my own signs and cricket them and all that so I got these for like the table signs like with the guest book and a dessert table and then for the bigger ones which are the five by seven I'm gonna put our engagement pictures in them so 
That'll be really cute. Okay, now for Etsy, I ordered this little cake topper. I have it say Mr. and Mrs. Wilcom on it. So cute, it's gonna be gold. And then I ordered this hanger for my dress. So it's gonna say Mrs. Wilcom on it. And it has a gold wire right there also, so super cute. And then lastly, I ordered this silk robe. So cute, I'm so excited about it. It has feathers on the hands or like the wrists, so it'll match the slippers that I have. And I'm really pumped about this. It's literally so cute and I wanted it for a while and I finally bit the bullet and got it. If you've been watching my other wedding planning videos, then you know that I got a robe for myself actually already. It's a white one. It matches my bridesmaid robes and it says Mrs. Wilcom on the back but it's honestly kind of see-through <laughs> and no one wants a see-through robe. So yeah, I got a different one. This one's way better quality, so I'm very excited to actually get it in. And this one's silk also, so I'm pumped. I'll definitely show you everything once it comes in. I don't know if it'll be in this vlog or if it'll take a while to come in, be in the next vlog, but I wanted to show you. I also made the invitations, guys. So the invitation journey has been kind of crazy. First, I went on Minted, found some invitations I loved on Minted, wanted to make them and all that. Found ones that I loved. Went on the knot found one on there that I loved also and just ultimately could not decide like I could not pick one that I liked and also invitations are very expensive <laughs> Another thing is that I wanted deckled edge paper. If you don't know what that is, it's basically like, I'll insert a picture right here, but like, you know how old books look kind of like worn and torn on the edges? Like I want our invitations to look like that. So basically my sisters and I are gonna make my invitations physically. So I designed the whole invitation online on Canva and then I moved it over to Procreate and drew flowers on the bottom that I really love. I'm printing them at Staples, which I need to go pick up today. Just like a few of them to see samples. And then I also, ordered a deckled edge cutter from Amazon and that's as far as we've gotten so far <laughs> we still have to get envelopes and we're gonna have to write the addresses on the front and all that fun stuff too which is gonna take a while but yeah I guess I'll show you the invitations this is the invitation I made on Canva before I transferred over to Procreate to add some design on it so I just found all the fonts and everything and then I drew these flowers on here with Procreate it was so fun to do I just traced them and then colored them in my own colors and all that and added all the details that I wanted so yeah those are my invitations they're so cute and I'm so happy that I made them myself and I don't have to pay $300 for invitations. <laughs> okay, it's actually a little later. Something fun that I'm doing with our bridal party is on our wedding website, we have a whole bridal party tab. So everyone gets a little intro of themselves and I think it's just really funny. So I'm asking everyone to send me a picture of them, their go-to dance move, and most likely to dot dot dot, and they send me the answers to them. But my sister is the first one to give it back. So I'm gonna show you what it's gonna look like because I think it's gonna be really cute and just funny, a little lighthearted thing to put on there and you like get to know everybody a little bit. So let me show you. This is obviously a joke. Brittany Ramos, Matron of Honor. This is my sister. Go to dance move, throwing it back. Most likely to say yes to coffee. <laughs> so I have everyone in here that is in our bridal party and I can't wait to have this all full. It's gonna be so cute. I also ordered more wedding things on Amazon. Shocking. I have these black wedding invitation envelopes that I'm gonna use. I'm so excited for. I got this little wax seal stamp. It's not super custom because I didn't have time to order like a custom one off Etsy. So this one just has a W and it's really cute. And I got gold wax for hot glue guns to put in there. And yeah, it'll be really pretty. Then I also got these white fine point pens so that we can write our addresses on the black envelope. Picked up the envelopes. So let me show you what they look like. Here's what they look like in person. They're so cute. Exactly what I wanted. And then the back is just one of our pictures. So I love it so much. So adorable. All right, guys, time to share loads of wedding stuff that just came in the mail. It is the stuff that I previously showed you online that I ordered, but I got it all in already. This was literally yesterday that I was showing you that I just ordered it and now it's here. I showed you these slippers. These actually originally said they were coming in like March, like mid-March and then I got a notification that they shipped. So they're definitely a lot quicker than it said they were going to ship but they're super cute. They're honestly not really comfy. Like they're not super squishy thick at all but it's okay. It's mainly for the looks. These are so cute. I'm obsessed with these. These are gonna be for getting ready. And then I have the acrylic hangers. I don't really want to take them out because I'm not gonna DIY them yet but there are 
six of them. Wait, there's only five. And I have six bridesmaids. We're gonna have to figure that one out. I know Julia was going to get these same ones, so maybe I can buy the other one off of her. There's a little hack of having friends that are also getting married. This is not something I bought, but Amazon Prime student sent it to me for a random act of kindness day. It's the five minute journal, but this one's called the gratitude diary. Is it by the same people? Maybe it's not. Oh, I don't think it is. It's the same exact layout. I think it's a knockoff, honestly, because it says the gratitude diary and it doesn't have any of like the pre pages with all the info on it. That's cool. I'll probably gift it to someone because I already have a five minute journal or I'll just save it till I finish the other one. But tomorrow, so exciting. My sisters and I are actually putting together invitations. So we got a bunch of stuff for invitation making. So we just got this W1 and then this is just a pack of gold wax. And then white gel pens. There's three of them, which is perfect. And these are the envelopes that we got. We were dying for a sage green, like literally the color of my jacket right here. Couldn't find it anywhere in stock. Like they had it on Amazon, but it was gonna take like a week to get here. And then we found them at like other stores, but they were so expensive or they didn't have the right size, which is five by seven. So we just threw the sage green idea out the window. Kind of glad we did black. Very classy. I just love it. This is what they look like. They're the like squared back ones. They're adorable. I'm excited. I'm so excited to make them tomorrow. And then lastly for the invitations, we got a deckle edge cutter. It's not like actual deckle edge where it's like ripped. It's like a deckle edge look-alike. It should be fine. I'm excited to use this. I'll also link literally everything that I'm showing you down below if you want to shop it. Now on to this box. Oh, it's so cute. It's so small, which I was expecting, but cute and small. This one looks like it's a, a little geometric one and it has this slot on the top for cards. This is the gold frames that I showed you. There are three of these and then this one, the four by six. Frame. So there's three of these also, which will be like our signage and all of that. And I think the larger five by seven ones are gonna be our pictures, like our engagement pictures. I need to put everything away now. Hello, it's invitation making time. It's gonna be very loud this whole segment of this video, so just deal with it. <laughs> Kids and video games. KK in the background. But this is the invitation making team. Brittany, also matron of honor. And she's your friend. <laughs> So it's time to do the wax seals and we're practicing because Oh, that was the worst one. <laughs> because this is happening. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's because this is really hot, oh. so it's keeping it melted. I think that's what it is. Okay, guys. It's 1021. Oh my gosh. This many left. We did this many so far. They look so cute though. Look at that. It's a very long process. If you haven't done this and you don't know how long it actually takes, we weren't expecting this because we have to cool the stamp every single time after <laughs> we use it because it gets too hot. So Every single time. Yeah, people are probably gonna comment some tips, but it'll be too Please. late, so. <laughs> All right guys, it's the next night. <laughs> Yesterday was hectic and took so long, like way longer than we were expecting. And now they're completely ready. It's the next day, I was planning on shipping them out today, but I did have to finish some more things on our website before we shipped them out because most of these people live in San Diego, which means they would probably get it like the next day and I needed the website done just to be safe. So shipping them out tomorrow because they're officially done now. And the wax seals on all of them, you guys. Oh my gosh, I can't. I'm so obsessed with the black and gold seal. This is actually an extra one. Good thing I saw that because it's just so classy and pretty. And yeah, I love it so much. Hello guys, another another day, another part of this wedding planning video, of course. So right now I'm doing the flower girl boxes. I'm finishing them up. I already like assembled them and stuff. That was my last wedding planning video. So go watch that one if you haven't. But now I'm gonna customize them with my Cricut, write all their names on it and stuff. And then I'm also gonna write a little card that says like, will you be my flower girl or flower girl? I need to get out of this mindset. <laughs> so I'm using my Cricut Joy. I'm using this like baby pink. Yeah, let's just start customizing these boxes. You wanna see hi, my walk -o? Okay, 
Okay, so this is what they're gonna look like. They just have their little name. I'm also probably gonna tie like a ribbon around it. The same like tool ribbon that I use for the, for the bridesmaid boxes. But this is the only one that has like this lid. These ones have like holes in the lids, which is really weird. So I'm gonna have to probably put the name like right here and then tie a ribbon like over the hole, you know? Here's what's in the box. I got these little bows, the little dress glasses and a little fun book. Next, I'm making the cards that I'm putting inside. It says their name and then will you be one of our flower girls? Simple, but let's do it. Back with more package unboxings because I feel like all my wedding vlogs now are just opening packages that are wedding related, but this is like the most exciting part, so here we are. Also, I got sauce all over my knee and I'm praying it comes out. But first thing I already opened yesterday, a little cake topper. It's from Etsy and it's so cute. It's like a little wood topper and it comes with this really nice acrylic case too, so like, you know it's gonna be good until you actually take it out. But I'll link the Etsy shop below. It just says Mr. and Mrs. Welcome on it. But I just think it's really cute. It's is gold. Now I have three packages. I honestly don't know <laughs> what is wedding related and what isn't. I don't know what this is. If I'm gonna be totally honest because I ordered a bunch of stuff off of Etsy quite a while ago. Oh, yep. This is the cutest thing ever. Here's my wedding hanger. I showed me ordering it, but here it actually is in person. I will say it's a little bit more flimsy than I thought it was gonna be, than it looked, but as long as it holds, you know, I guess it's fine. I think it's cuter than like the regular like ones that have it written right here. Adorable, I'm so excited for this. Definitely need to keep this like in the bubble wrap though because I feel like it could get bent really easily. I'm so excited about this. I'm pretty sure I know what it is because I remember ordering it from I think this is what the shop was called. Oh the robe here it is it is a lot better quality than the other one and it isn't as see-through as the other one either which is good and then it comes with the tie separately so cute okay everyone it's time to close off this wedding planning vlog because i'm starting a new one probably this week because this next video is going to be all about like diying and a bunch of stuff that is so exciting so definitely stay tuned for that one so this one is more like packages and like ordering a bunch of fun stuff but the next one is going to actually be making a lot of the decor because we're on a time crunch now and i feel like we just got engaged so don't regret a short engagement but we're speeding through this and it's so exciting but yeah thank you guys so much for watching today's video make sure you subscribe if you have not already for more wedding planning content and go watch my other ones if you haven't also and also follow me on instagram and tiktok and all that fun stuff because i post a lot over there and leave me a comment down below because i'm responding to all my comments and chatting and i love talking to you guys i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video bye guys Oh, 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 oh,